Our modern networks have hundreds of different applications that are flowing through them. And one of the problems you run into is when somebody starts up a big file transfer or somebody is watching streaming media, it may have an effect on the other applications that need bandwidth as well. That's when you start to see network administrators use different techniques to manage the throughput of applications on the network. This is called quality of service. We'll assign a different quality of service to voice over IP than we might have to web browsing or file transfers or streaming video. That way we can dial up the priorities of voice over IP so our voice communication will always work. And we'll dial down the amount of throughput that streaming media might get so it doesn't overwhelm the network. There's different ways of doing this. One is to assign different bandwidth requirements to different applications. We might allow YouTube traffic on our network, but we'll limit that traffic so that we can never use more than half of the available bandwidth. Or maybe we assign quality of service based on a rate of traffic going through. Maybe voice over IP gets a higher priority, and other types of media get lower priority. We'll make sure if there's ever voice over IP traffic on the network, it will always get through. There's a lot of different techniques that you can use under the surface to be able to accomplish this quality of service. One common method is to use something like traffic shaping. We'll set up queues, and we'll do rate limiting of the different traffic coming through the network. So certain applications get a few more packets through than others, and we're limiting who can go through that gate at any particular time. A network administrator might set up a type of weighting or load balancing to be able to distribute the load over many different devices. Maybe we have a lot of people coming inbound to our web server. Behind the scenes, we've set up 10 different servers, but everybody's hitting one load balancer, and the load balancer is splitting up that load to the 10 different servers. You can also manage quality of service at the protocol level. If you're trunking a lot of VLANs from one switch to another, there is a class of service bit right there in the Ethernet header that you can use. So you could say that this VLAN is carrying voice over IP traffic. It gets a higher priority than this other VLAN that's sending normal data. If you're not trunking data, there's information in the IPv4 and IPv6 headers that you can also use. These are type of service bits that you can designate how much priority go with what types of traffic. It's a bit difficult to implement quality of service at the protocol level because not all of your infrastructure equipment understands what these bits mean. And you have to make sure that you've got quality of service devices that are able to interpret these bits and then decide how to send that traffic through the network. Although the bits are there, they're not often implemented on normal networks. But if you need that type of functionality, it's built right into the Ethernet and IP standards. This is a very good example of watching how quality of service differs as traffic is going through your network over time. There are three different kinds of traffic on this network. We've defined a best effort. That is traffic that will go through the network when nothing else is there. We'll use up as much bandwidth as we can. But if anything else comes along, the best effort has to take a back seat. There's also a class four. Everything with quality of service has different classes assigned to it. And you get to decide what these classes mean. For this particular case, class 4 is the middle of the road. This is something that has a middle priority. It's a little more important than best effort traffic, but it's not as important as this other type of traffic, which is expedite forward. Expedite forward or high priority traffic is traffic that should go through the network, and all other traffic should be set at a lower priority. And then we can see in this graph, as this is occurring over time, our blue best effort traffic is up here with the total amount of traffic on the network. But as soon as the class 4 traffic begins, you can see that your best effort effort traffic decreases so that you've got more bandwidth available to this class 4 middle of the road traffic. And it stays this way right until we get to the expedite forward. Suddenly, voice over IP, somebody picks up a phone and makes a call. And you'll notice all of the traffic, especially your best effort, now drops below that amount of traffic on the network. And only after the class 4 traffic disappears does your best effort finally move up a little bit. But notice you're still not using all of the traffic on the network. The best effort is still not going to use everything on the network because you still have your voice over IP communication going on. And then when you hang up the phone and there's no other high priority traffic on the network, your best effort traffic moves right up to the top again. 
Notice your traffic and your quality of service is completely dynamic, depending on the type of traffic on the network. And if you've designed your quality of service to be able to provide this type of reliability, then you don't have to worry about your voice over IP traffic not working because other applications might be going through your network. This is a great way to ensure that your mission-critical applications will always have the bandwidth and the network availability that they need.